In this video, I'll show you how to set up a membership site on MemberPress in five minutes. I've already purchased and installed the MemberPress plugin. Now I want to set up my membership features. So let's get started. The first thing I'll do is set up a payment method. I'll go to MemberPress here on the left sidebar, Settings, and the Payments tab. I'll click Add Payment Method, select Stripe next to Gateway, and name this Pay with Credit Card. I'll then click Connect with Stripe and follow the instructions to connect my Stripe account. Then I'll see that Stripe's been connected. I'll click here to enable test mode for now so I can test this later in the video. I'll then click Update Options to save this. Next, I'll create my membership. I'll go to MemberPress, Memberships, and click Add New. I'll name this Premium. I want my membership to cost $20 a month, and I'll include a seven-day free trial period. Here in the text box, I'll add what users will get with the membership and a note about the free trial. I'll click Publish to save my membership. Next, I'll set up rules to protect my videos and course so only those who purchase my premium membership can access them. So now I'll go to MemberPress, Rules, and Add New. Under Protected Content, I'll select Child Pages Of. Here, I'll start typing the name of my parent page, Videos, and select it. In here, I'll select Membership and Premium. So only those with my premium membership will be able to access my videos. I'll click Save Rule, then Add New. For this rule, I'll select a single course and select my course. And I'll select my premium membership. Then I'll click Save Rule. Now, I'm going to add a registration link on my navigation menu so site visitors can easily purchase my membership. So I'm going to go to Appearance here and Menus. Here on the left, I'm going to select Memberships. Then I'll select Premium and click Add to Menu. I'll expand this item and change the navigation label to Sign Up, which will be the link text that appears. Then I'll click Save Menu here at the bottom. Next, I'm going to add a login and logout link to my navigation menu for members. To do this, I'm going to go to Plugins here and Add New. Then I'll search for Login or Logout Menu Item. It's this plugin here. I'll click Install Now and Activate. Once that's done, I'll go back to Appearance and Menus. And now I see a new item added here on the left. I'll expand it and select Login Logout here, which adds an item that will either display Login or Logout depending on if a user is logged in or not. Then I'll click Add to Menu and Save Menu. And one quick change. I'll go to MemberPress, Settings, and the Account tab. And here under Login Logout, I'll check Use MemberPress Login Page URL and Update Options. Now, if I open my site in a new incognito window or a browser where I'm not logged in as my site's admin, I could see the sign up and login link added to my menu. Now, I'm gonna test to make sure my content's protected and that my registration works. First, I'll go into my members only link and click my video pages. You can see that I'm met with my unauthorized message, letting me know that I don't have access to the page. I'll click my course link as well and see that my course is protected too. Now I'm going to test my site's registration process. I'll click sign up and register with some fake testing data. Once that's complete, I'll see my site's thank you message. So now that I'm logged in as a test user, I'll try to access a video and I can see it. And I see that I have access to my course as well. Now you'll notice on my site's navigation under members only, you'll see this link here, account. This links to the MemberPress account page, which is built into MemberPress by default. I simply added it to my menu earlier when building my site. I'll go to the Subscriptions tab, and here I can see the active subscription that I just signed up for. And now I'll show you what this looks like to you as the site admin. I'll close this incognito window and go back to my WordPress dashboard. Go to MemberPress and Subscriptions, and I can see the active subscription here. And one last thing, when you're ready to start accepting payments, you just need to go into MemberPress, Settings, and the Payments tab, and uncheck Test Mode under your Stripe Gateway. Then click Update Options. And there you go. In just a few minutes, my membership site is all set up with MemberPress.